The oceans are very noisy by nature because there are all sorts of sounds out there. We can have the wind at the surface, the rain, storms, waves crashing on top of each other. We might have earthquakes or other natural processes. The animals themselves are making lots of noise. It can be the whales, the dolphins, even the fish or the shrimps can make noise at different frequencies that can be heard very far away. Sound in the ocean travels over very large distances, up to thousands of kilometers, and travels five times faster than in air. There are all sorts of noises made by humans as well, from industrial activities, from shipping, and this contributes to the noise budgets and how it affects animals. This is more particularly noticeable toward the polar regions. For example, we're talking about the ice melting as the climate is actually evolving and changing. The absence of ice is helping shipping, so there is more shipping in more northern waters. The ice is melting, as it melts, it's going to make some noises like ice cubes fizzing in a cocktail drink, but at a much bigger scale of hundreds or thousands of square kilometers. We're going to have icebergs colliding, ice walls from glaciers collapsing into the ocean with melting. All this, from the sound it makes, tells us how much of the ice is actually melting, where it is melting, and how it is melting. So we can prepare for events like many tsunamis, or just the absence of ice and how it affects marine life.